Hello. Today I will show you how to automatically rig 3D models and animate them with Mixamo. Then bring those models and animations into Godot 4. First of all, if your model is not in FBX, you will need to open your model in Blender, which is a free 3D modeling software. We will need Blender also to export one model with all the animations, so we'll install it to follow along with this tutorial if you don't already have it. Go to File, then Export, then Export as FBX. Go to the Mixamo site and sign up for a free account. Then you will be able to upload a character. Press Upload Character, then browse for the character you created. Then press Next. Place the dots showing the parts of the character in the appropriate places. Then we will select two chain fingers, since the model doesn't have fingers. Then press Next. Press Next again to confirm. Then we can search for animations. We will search for Zombie. We have a zombie walk. We will select in place because this is a game animation and we will move it with code. There is an option to adjust arm space if the animation causes the character to clip into itself. Press download and download again to download a version of this character with the animation. Then we can search for more animations. For each animation you want, repeat the steps to download it. Unfortunately, you can't download a model with all the animations you want, so you will have multiple models, each with one animation. Then we will go back to Blender and import all those models back in. We only need one rigged model, so we will delete all the rest. You could also press Delete Arrowarchy to delete them faster. All of the animations will stay in Blender, but we will only have one rigged character. Go to the Animation tab and make sure in the bottom panel that Action Editor is selected from the drop down menu. Then we will rename the animations to something meaningful. Finally, we can export this as GLTF, the recommended format for Godot. Then we can drag it into Godot, double click, make the animations we want to loop be loopable, and re-import. Then we can right click and select New Inherited Scene, and see all our animations in Godot. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.